Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today I created a new card tutorial with a wood green pattern in the background using Tim Holtz Distress Crayons. These crayons come in many different colors, but the two that I'm using today are being given for free with any purchase from scrapbook.com. Follow the link below my video to scrapbook.com and with any purchase you will receive these two crayons for free. The two free crayons are only available on December 7th and 8th, 2017, but you can buy the set of all the crayons anytime from scrapbook.com. All the products and links are listed in the description area below. The two Distress crayons I'm using today are Vintage Photo and Walnut Stain. And to create the background, I used Strathmore Smooth Bristol Paper. I applied the Distress Oxide inks directly to the background by just rubbing them and painting on the background. I alternated between the two browns and then, using a little bit of water, just blended the colors with my fingers. Distress crayons are great for blending and they can create any type of background because they actually react with water. Unlike regular crayons, the distress crayons, as you may know, react with water and can blend together on any type of surface, but it's better to do them on a smooth surface so you don't get any lines. I continued blending until everything was smooth and all the colors were blended together. Then I added another layer by applying more of the crayon on top of this first layer. That way I got a more intense color and a deeper brown so I could die cut or emboss. I grabbed a second piece of Bristol paper and then used the crayons again to create a second background. This time I added the crayons in a horizontal way by alternating between the two colors. This is another way of applying them, but it gave me the same results. And then I went ahead and smoothed them out with water again. This background was created almost like a gradient in terms of colors, and I thought it was perfect to die cut the tree with it. I took a die cut from Paper Smooches, this is the fall tree, and what I did is I ran it through my Vagabond machine, and cut one tree and two sets of leaves. Each set came with eight different leaves, so I knew I would have enough if I cut 16 of them so I could add to my card. Then I ran the second paper through an embossing folder that has a wood grain pattern. The wood grain texture came out beautifully, but to really see it, I ran a wet wipe on top of the embossed area and it took off some of that ink and it made it look really good. I took some Nina Environment Desert Storm cardstock, this is the 110 pound cardstock, and I measured it so it would be on a slant on my card. The reason was is that I didn't want to cover the whole background because I really loved the actual wood grain pattern. So I measured where the cardstock is supposed to go and then I went ahead and I placed it slanted on the back. That way I really had a good way of showing off my tree without covering most of my wood grain pattern. I glued the Desert Storm cardstock to the wood grain background and then I glued the tree right on top of that card. That way I had a good contrast between the back and the front and the tree matched perfectly with the background. Then for the leaves I took my old Zyron machine which I haven't really used in God knows how long and I thought to myself why try to glue these tiny leaves without any help. So I went and dug it out from the bottom of my scrapbooking bin and went ahead and run it through and put all the leaves inside and created stickers out of them. I can't tell you how 
good it felt to not have to glue each and every one and just have to run it through that machine it's not really a machine it's more uh, a sticker maker but I call it a machine because it really created stickers for my leaves so all I did is just take the leaves and glue them to the background and then I was done I also took a brown fine point marker and just added a little bit of a ground underneath the tree to make it a little bit more realistic but I drew that freehand and without any guide I also took my wing Castella and added a little bit of shimmer to all the leaves and the tree trunk just so it would be a little bit more shimmery Then I glue the card to an A2 note card made out of the same Desert Storm paper, just so it would all match. Finally, for the sentiment, I stamped a Hero Art sentiment that says thank you with my Versamark ink and then embossed it with white super fine ranger embossing powder and of course as usual I added the powder tool to make sure that no embossing powder sticks to the background so I keep my embossing powder in a container so I just went ahead and added it to the background and then heat set it and I wanted to do it in white just to add a little bit of a contrast I took pictures of my project on a wood green background as well which is the back porch in my house because I thought it would be perfect for this thank you so much for watching if you liked my video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media for more inspiration subscribe to my channel and visit me on my website to subscribe to my newsletter thank you so much and have a wonderful day bye